We're gonna plans for our fruiting orchard here. So on this side we got apples. Then we're gonna fill this side up with a bunch of fruit trees as well. We our property line kind of goes like this and goes around. It's really weird shape. Somebody just bought that property right there. We wanted to buy that property, but it was just too expensive. And so we got some chays right here. And then we own all the way around our pond. So we're gonna have a path of pick your own fruit trees all the way around the pond, try to do evergreens. So that would be citrus, pineapple guava, some prickly pear, some avocados all along the pathway. And then in the corner, we're gonna have a bunch of mulberries. Um, and then we've got some mulberries right here. And we're gonna put in our big bird area, we're gonna put a bunch of mulberries. So those are great for them to have shade. And then they're really tasty. So we've got hybrid plums in here. We've got jujubes, we've got um, quince. We've got some more che in there. We've got a, a bunch of really cool stuff. So we're gonna put more mulberries in that other area. So this is actually four pastures. This one uh, pasture is about three quarters of an acre. Then we got quarter acre pasture right here. And then the goats are like 2,000 square feet. And then their other one for the cows, horses is a little bit over an acre. And we might, it's got pecan trees in there. I like to establish some mulberries in there as well. But we're really putting the mulberries in with the livestock. We're gonna have to build a cage around them because they will just destroy them as they're little. And we've uh, got a um, bunch of stuff over here, some avocados, we've got olives, the mulberries, a bunch more fruit trees going along that way. Then we're gonna have an orchard over here. Here we got satsumas. And we have a big greenhouse in the back. We're gonna put probably 70 tropicals in there. And then over here, we've got a garden right here. We've got a big orchard in the back. We've got pears. We've got persimmon. And then in, we've got a wall, a privacy wall between our neighbors, uh, the loquats and pineapple guava. And then here's the other side of the trail. So all in all, I think we're gonna have over a thousand fruit trees in the ground. We're planting quite a few now. We probably have at least 500 in the ground now. So we're planting the rest of them. We've got a little area up in the corner. We have some fruit trees and then may expand our garden close to where this uh, rock pile is over here. Got a bunch of junk out. That's for the greenhouse heating and cooling system. We've got a blackberry patch right there. A big pecan tree. And by our house, we've got four really big pecan trees. And then in the area where we got our tortoises, we have a bunch of fruit trees as well, a fruit forest over there. So a bunch of cool stuff. This one's a Pakistan mulberry. I believe it was done by, uh, not by cutting, it hasn't fruited yet. This was a lab-grown tree because it's taking forever to fruit. So hopefully next year we get fruit on it. The Everbear and Mulberry put out a few times this year. Still got a little bit on it. We got another Everbear and Mulberry, a white mulberry. Check out the barn so that we're going to have our incubators in this room right here. Macaws, feed storage and trying to talk the wife into getting sloths. We'll see if that happens, I don't know.